Hey friends, thank you for joining us today. We have lots of fun stuff planned. We're going to talk about parties. Erin, can you share about your favorite party? Yes. I I went to a trampoline place and I had Lizzie fun and Gabby come with me. I went to the trampoline place for Erin's birthday party and we had a lot of fun and we jumped everywhere and we ran everywhere and we tried new things even though they were scary. Right? Yeah. Because I was trying to I was trying to do the sim line. It was really scary because it was this Zip lines big. are scary. It was like this big. It was really tall. Yeah. Now. And I was thinking I would get hurt, but I, but I want people to get hurt. Yeah, nobody got hurt, but it's okay to be scared sometimes. Now, I want you guys to stay tuned to learn more about Joy. It's time for worship. My favorite thing about worship is that I can be joyful. I can sing to God because of all that he's done for me. He loves us no matter what. So stand up. Let's set our hearts and our minds on God and worship. Shine, it makes me 
Friends, it's time for the Bible story. I love Bible stories because I know everything that we read in the Bible story is true. And it can remind us of things that are really important. I have a question for you guys though. Have you ever had a bad day where it seemed like nothing was going right? Like maybe your outfit didn't fit right, or maybe your shoes, you couldn't find your favorite shoes, and then maybe you even lost your favorite stuffed animal? That's happened to me before, and to make it even worse, I dropped my ice cream cone on the floor, and it made me really sad. When things like that happen, it's hard to have joy. We're gonna find out in our Bible story what happens when the Israelites have a bad day. Follow me through, follow me through hell. Always got a Bible story for me. Well, hey there, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I just dropped all of these letters. I had to pick them all up, and now I'm gonna be late delivering the mail. It does make me wonder, can you still have joy when things don't go your way? What do you think? You think you can? Well, I think so too. And that's what our story is all about. Are you ready to hear it? Yeah! Great, let me just put this story mail in the mailbox. This true story from the Bible begins with a man named Habakkuk. Habakkuk was thinking about God and started praying to God. And when he talked to God, he said, even if I don't have any figs on my fig trees, I can have joy because God loves me. Then Habakkuk prayed to God and said, even if I don't have any grapes on my grapevines, I can have joy because God loves me. Then Habakkuk prayed to God and said, even if my garden doesn't grow any food, I can have joy because God loves me. Then Habakkuk prayed to God and said, even if I don't have any animals on my farm, I can have joy because God loves me. Habakkuk knew that God loved him all the time and that would never change. And that gave him joy all the time. We can have joy all the time because God loves us too. So let's think about it. If we don't get to have a cookie, does God still love us? Yes, so we can still have joy? Yes, we can still have joy. How about this one? If we really, really, really want a new toy at the store, but we can't have it, does God still love us? Yes, can we still have joy? Yes! 
Here's one more. If we don't get to do something we want to do, does God still love us? Yes. So can we still have joy? Yes. Habakkuk knew that God loved him, so he had joy all the time. We know that God loves us, so we can have joy all the time too. Hey, Ollie, tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. That's the truth, friends. Bye. Wow, that was such a cool Bible story. We learned that when it's hard to have joy, God can help us because joy comes from God. So even when nothing seems to go your way or you drop your ice cream cone on the store, on the floor, God can help you have joy and you can ask him to give you joy. Let's practice it right now. I want you guys to fold your hands and close your eyes with me. And repeat this after me. God, even when things don't go my way, I know that you can help me have joy. So help me to remember that joy comes from you. I love you, God. Amen. Good job. Alrighty, good job, guys. Thank you for practicing that prayer with me. Now remember, next time when things don't go your way and it's hard to choose joy, ask God for help. Hey friends, it is time for the memory verse. I have my assistant here, Erin, and she's gonna help me do the memory verse. I'm gonna say the memory verse and you guys are gonna say it with her and copy me. Are you guys ready? Okay, here it is. A joyful. A joyful. Heart. Heart. Is good. Is good. Medicine. Medicine. Proverbs. Proverbs. 17, 22. 17, 22. Good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. You ready? Yes. Okay, sweet. A joyful. A joyful. Heart. Heart. Is good. Is good. Medicine. Medicine. Proverbs. 1722. 1722. You guys did such a good job. Good job, Erin. All right. Thank you guys for doing the memory verse with us. Wow, I had so much fun today. I hope you had fun too. My favorite part of today was that I can have joy all the time because God loves me. No matter what. All right, before you go, I have one question for you to go ask your grown-up. Are you ready? All right, go ask your grown-up, how do you choose joy? One more time. Go ask your grown-up, how do you choose joy? All right, go ask your grown-up and we'll see you next week.